click the settings tab you want to be going to point or point styles so um basic if it's um as it's just been inserted it's going to be basic um and you can tell if what type of point styles you've got in your drawing because they'll have a little yellow arrow next to them the ones that are included in the drawing so if you start with basic and you find that it's not doing anything to your points and try another one that's got one of the yellow arrows right click on it and edit and there you can edit the name um, you can edit the marker style um, all the different styles um, I've just I've gone for a point just because it's easier for me when I'm utilizing it with photos and you can also change it for the drawing scale so as you're zooming in and out the the size of the marker will change so it's always one size you can also change the orientation of the marker so that when you rotate the view, the marker will rotate, rotate with you. This is not really relevant when using a point, but it can be very useful when using some of the other marker styles. So here in 3D Geometry, I have selected Exaggerate Points by Scale Factor in Point Display Mode. And again, I found that this is good for when you're kind of zooming in and out. It's good as you don't need to keep adjusting the text size as you're zooming in and out, for example. The next tab that will need some adjustments is the Display tab. When you open the tab, the view direction drop down is plan and you can see some of the options that determine how the points look when you're in the plan view. You can change the color, the layer, the line type, for example, but most crucial for this application is the light bulbs in the visible column. And you can see here that the col in this column, the light bulbs are both yellow and that means that these the points and the labels are both visible in the plan view. If you go back up to the drop down menu and select model, you'll notice that these light bulbs are now blue. If you click these on and turn them yellow and click apply, you'll now see that when we rotate the view, the points and labels are now visible.